It smells like bozo pack season. And I hope you all are ready. Bring your cigars. Bring your wine goblet. Bring whatever the f you use for celebrating the downfall of your enemies because we are smoking a pack today. There is a pack watch in Shibuya today. And it's one of many that the good lord will deliver into our hands. So y'all already know how the last episode ended. I mean the episode before this one. Jogo was basically ducking because he is a bitch. Because how he just appearing conveniently after Toji left the vicinity. And everyone is tired by the way. Everyone is injured. And boom he just pops out of nowhere and you know starts flaming everyone. The answer is simple. He was hiding from the biggest of Toji. Anyways after Jogo love tapped everyone. Hold on wait what's this? Oh my god, it's Sukuna jumping down from the top ropes. Oh wait, I'm sorry for that. We aren't quite here yet. I beg your pardon? Let's go back. Alright, this is where we are. So Jogo sees some bitches trying to get cozy with you. I mean, I can't blame them. I would do same if I were there. And Jogo gets mad jealous and burns them to a crisp. Jogo begins feeding Yuji those healthy edible looking fingers in hopes Sukuna awakens. And then somehow them bitches manage to come back. Jogo, brother, listen to me. I know you's a bitch, but ain't no way you finna have niggas you just turn to see I come back out of nowhere. Burn them right now. Oh shit, what the fuck just happened? Nigga, I'm a count to one. And if you haven't gotten your bum ass out of my face when I'm done counting, your ugly ass will be looking like yellow fin tuna on Sushi Friday. Did it get hotter here? And what's, what's that moist feeling in my pants? Oh wait, I just shit myself. Man, Sukuna is the real deal. I better say I'm subbed to fiction first so he doesn't cut my head off. Ugly nigga on the left. Your barber ain't do you good. Let me trim that top for you. Under house, my nigga. There you go. Looking sharp, my boy. Alright, alright. All jokes apart. This nigga right here is vile as fuck. He was really going to take their head off for not bowing. And then he goes and says something like bowing with one knee means you value your head very likely of course referring to jogo and it's crazy how they could recognize how inferior they were by pure instinct while in his presence that's crazy it's insane you know jogo had the balls to fight gojo if you all remember back in season one while in the presence of gojo he you know he could pull out his best efforts to try and fight jo gojo but while in the presence of sukuna he was shaky he was sweating his ass off that's to show you the difference in their cursed energy it shows, it shows you how intense his cursed energy is i don't know how he does it but he somehow lets out evil leak out of his body and you're going to see later in the video this isn't the only occurrence that this happens in and i have to say he's just evil for the sake of being evil he really didn't have to do any of this he just did it for fun anyway let me jump into jogo versus sukuna because that's what we came here for but before i do that make sure you leave a like and sub it really helps us a ton also comment on this video whatever opinions you have of the anime or suggestions of anime we should cover in the future and yeah please just help us reach that thousand sub milestone it really it would really mean a lot to us anyways a pack we want and a pack we shall get oh good lord someone's finna die right now what did he just throw at him huh? Jogo pulled out an m16 machine gun from his inventory and he still couldn't land a single shot oh now he's trying to burn granny's house down why why is he trying to burn granny's house down you have beef with sukuna not granny leave granny's house out of this look how casually sukuna catches his punches i thought you said you was a nut ass nigga say something bro got punched so hard he started remembering how weak he was oh now you mad at me for saying that don't be mad at me bitch fight sukuna not gonna lie this attack looks cool as fuck Jogo again with the flying cockroaches. I thought we went over this in Gojo's fight. Now bro is eating a nothing burger mid fight. What is this nigga doing? Does he have autism or something? Oh my god, look at Sukuna bro. He is the reverse Jesus Christ. He is the reverse Messiah. Don't blink nigga. Nigga make sure you don't blink. Oh shit. Oh, now you realize the power gap. Oh shit. Sukuna is a street menace. He just fucked up Jogo's jaw with his big ass dick. What's Jogo doing now? A glowing meatball. This goofy ass nigga is running out of tricks. He, he brought a meatball to a fight. And just as I thought, the move couldn't do anything. I can't do a domain battle right now. I'm out of mats. You lying ass nigga. I know why you can't pull out your domain. 
You just scared cause Gojo destroyed your ugly ass domain the last time you fought. Well I don't have to one shot you with my own domain. I'll use your own technique and I'm going to show you the real Jujutsu Kaisen. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no need to continue because immediately Sukuna was done doing his fire arrow jutsu, a flashback style. And y'all know how notorious flashbacks are in Jujutsu Kaisen. And it also means another thing. That Jogo pack is in a store near you right now. You can get your Jogo pack at any store by you today. It's freshly packed. You can also order online. It will be delivered to you right away. That's what you get for being a bitch. The last person we need to complete this pack is Mahito. And I know the Mahito pack is still, it's still far away. You know, it's still, it's still a bit far away. But I have to say, Mappa did some amazing shit with this episode animators should be paid way more man because this episode was just phenomenal it was was fantastic 10 over 10 11 over 10 it was it was a very enjoyable episode anyways that's it for this video don't forget to like and sub we are still on our way to 1k subs every single sub matters so thank you for putting it into consideration we also have a video on the channel here that explains Jujutsu Kaisen's power system you know, kind of explains it it's more or less a uh, hype video for Jujutsu Kaisen, but whatever, man. And we have this other video that talks about Ichigo's personality. I think you guys should check it out. It's a really interesting video, if you ask me. Uh, yeah, if you made it this far, thank you once again for watching. It, it really means everything to us. And yeah, we will see you in the next one.